hi guys welcome back today i have a video that i've been meaning to do for so long like so so long i realized that it's one of the things i get asked the most on live in comments in dms and that's where the fuck do you start your spiritual journey <laughs> people want to know where to begin their spiritual journey because i understand a lot of youtubers and authors and influencers are intimidating because they seem to be all-knowing in the world of spirituality and they just seem like they're at the peak of their spiritual journey and they're evolved and they're enlightened and aligned and in tune with the universe and like i'm sure they are all those things but one they have to start somewhere two they fall off their spiritual journey and i say that and i mean it because they do there are days or weeks when they don't journal and they don't meditate and they hate themselves for it and it's something that you're going to go through too if you're beginning your spiritual journey i just want you to know that like no matter who you're watching and no matter how enlightened they seem to be i guarantee you they have some regular ass weeks where they just act like a normal person that's never heard of spirituality at all and number three i don't remember my points but <laughs> i'm saying this to say like this video is about your spiritual journey, where to start, where I started, and of course just some reassurance that we all have to start somewhere. So I'm going to start by telling you my brief little history with spirituality because there was a time that I was not in tune at all. I was very, very shallow. I was very out of alignment. I didn't, I was negative. I was so negative. I was mean. I was just, I like hated myself, if I'm being honest. Like, did not like myself at all. Now I'm working on self-love. I know that I do love myself, but I just have so much more to love. I think my issue right now is that I haven't accepted myself for who I am. I haven't accepted my flaws. I haven't made peace with them and I'm working through that. But like, again, we're not all these like spiritually enlightened, perfect people. I'm not saying that you guys think that I am at all. I'm just saying that I know what it's like to watch YouTubers and just be like, damn, like she has it all together. Like, damn, she wakes up at this time. She does this routine, what? so okay let me let me get into the history okay it all started okay there was like a moment that like i woke up and then there was a moment that i became spiritual so i'll tell you about the moment that i woke up i was with my friend and i didn't know shit about anything i didn't know anything about anything i didn't even know what the law of attraction was we went to this like park by my my parents house and it's like a it's like a lake shore it's lake shore and pretty much the day was so gloomy it was so gloomy and we decided to just sit at the lake and slowly everybody started leaving because it started to rain a little bit but we were young we we're just like who cares if it rains my hair was curly that day like we just didn't care so we're just like let's just sit here who cares like whatever so we sit there and the sun starts to set but there's no sun so the sky is just getting darker and we're watching the water and it's quiet it's pretty still there's no one around us it's raining and it starts to get a little bit foggy then the sky gets darker and darker and now the sky is like a gray but the water is also gray so the sky is blending into the water and on top of that it's foggy so i can't see anything around me except for the water and my friend and we're just sitting there and we're like what the fuck is happening it was this weird moment where i remember i just felt like we were the only two people in the entire world i don't know it, it just felt like there was nothing around us like it was so empty there was no sky there was no water there was no nothing because everything blended with each other so i just felt like i was in a big open space of just gray and it was the perfect shade of gray and we were just quiet and we we're like whoa what the hell we're like 19 years old and we're just out of our minds we're sitting there staring we're like whoa like what is what is happening and then we both went quiet and i think we both went into our own deep thoughts and our own like inner meditations i don't really know i wasn't meditating because i didn't even meditate once in my life at that point but i was just sitting there like thinking and being still and silencing my mind which is meditating but i didn't know it and I just remember feeling like I was the only thing in the universe and I started thinking about holy shit like I started thinking deep about the universe and having all these profound thoughts about the universe and who I am and what the world is and and how connected I am all these things right but I'd never had these thoughts before so I was like so confused but so like I felt not even confused I felt like I knew certain things all of a sudden and I just felt different I felt different we sat there for an hour in silence in complete silence 
we never said like let's take it in we never said we we're gonna be quiet we never nothing was ever discussed we just shut the fuck up and sat there and i just had this whole awakening process in that moment and it was the craziest experience of my life and i guarantee if i were, i'm not friends with her anymore we're cool we're cool we just don't talk we grew up we were high school friends and, but i know that if i were to randomly call her and be like yo do you remember that time where we sat in nothingness for two hours when the sun set she'd be like holy fuck i remember like it was crazy so that was when i realized there's more to the universe than what i knew as like earth um there's just so much more to my mind and to people around me and to the world in general to the universe like i just it, i woke up that day that faded out forgot about it not forgot but like kind of just lived my life and then i had my second awakening where i learned what energy was and that was when i read the secret the secret changed my life obviously the secret changed my life in terms of the law of attraction and learning what that is and how to manifest and how thoughts become things and how connected we are like it changed my life in that way too but the way that it really changed my mind is that it just shifted my whole way of thinking in the sense that i didn't know that we were all energetically connected i didn't know that there was so much more to us than our physical beings i didn't know that negative and positive thoughts were so impactful in our lives i didn't know anything so i read the secret and it was just an abundance of information that i never even considered before and i felt like oh my god i've been missing this my whole life this is what i've been doing i manifest like crazy but i didn't know i was manifesting like crazy i was like i'm good at this because i manifest all the time i remember when i was young i wanted to win a justin bieber concert like giveaway so i wrote down i i'm so happy that i won tickets to see justin bieber on june 11th in la and i wrote down 10 times and then i won the first two rounds of the contest and i didn't win the third round so i didn't get flown out to la to go see him on ellen but i won the first two rounds i won a free autograph cd what the fuck i've won so many contests just because i would write down that i'm gonna win put it under my pillow like say it out loud as if it already was like i was manifesting my whole life and i didn't even know it and suddenly the secret opened my mind up to energy and everything like just being connected and i was like this is a whole world i didn't know of. what more can i learn about spirituality so i started looking at spirituality going to spiritual shops and just like seeing what was there and then i found these aquarius necklaces and i was like oh it's so cute it was an aquarius necklace it was a jade crystal so i bought that and i bought a love crystal and at the time i didn't know that it was jade and rose quartz i just thought it was like oh green pink pretty crystals necklace woohoo and i bought them and i was like why every time i wear my pink crystal men approach me and like ask me out or ask for my number or i get texts from guys i used to talk to i'm like what the fuck is happening every time i put that fucking necklace on something would happen something to do with like guys being attracted to me everybody was coming my way and i was like not used to that so i was like let me wear this more often and find me a man and i just kept doing that and then i started wearing my green one i started attracting money i got a new job i started finding money on the floor i started having good luck i'd wear it before tests and I was like, what are these crystals? And I went back into my bag, my old bag that I had tucked away. And I looked at the packaging because I kept it. And I was like, okay, Aquarius crystal. Like, what does this mean? And it told me what it meant. And then I looked up rose quartz and I started looking up crystals. Then I started going to spiritual shops and asking about crystals. I mean, like, hmm, like, I want to do well in school. Like, hmm, like, I really want this. I want this. I want this. And I started just bringing in abundance and feeling the energy and then i started learning about crystals because one time i was working on staples i was in the copy and print center and this reiki healer came in and she wanted to get her book scanned so she could sell it as an ebook so me being an 18 year old broke student could not afford the 50 dollars ebook and i was like you know what i'm scanning right now i have my usb in my backpack in the back room like let me just drop that <laughs> drop that file on my usb it was illegal and for legal purposes, um, this is all a theoretical story. I'm just joking around. I'm just joking. This actually never happened. But um, let's say it did happen. Then I would have gone to the back, gotten my USB out of my laptop, brought it to the copy and print center, put it in the computer, and dragged her little Reiki PDF thing on my USB, brought it home, and read it. It was good. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about energy. I learned a lot about how to tell if a crystal's charged. Like uh, everything I know about crystals probably came from that book so shout out to you forget your name you're nice i started learning about that and then i started looking at videos on law of attraction crystal healing reiki hypnosis spirituality just learning more and more and more and then i just kind of like did that then i went through a breakup my first breakup and there was the one before this previous one 
and um, I just had this desire to change myself, my mind, my way of thinking, and learn how to be a better person. So I started getting into personal development spirituality, which meant journaling and affirmations and manifesting and more things like that, like meditating more. Oh my God, I forgot to say that I opened my third eye the second time I meditated in my life. It was crazy. It was literally like the second time I ever meditated, I opened my third eye. And that's when I was like, whoo. And then I started becoming very intuitive and I started buying psychic books and all, I just like went deeper and deeper. And then after my second heartbreak is when I got real in tune with like my archangels, my ancestors, tarot cards, got my singing bowl, journal every day. And now I actually wake up at 6 a.m. I meditate. I use my singing bowl. I journal. I do all this with my crystals. And then I pull a card. I ask for a message for the day. I do my yoga stretches. I'm trying to get my splits. And then I just keep doing my routine i eat well i drink a cup of water i did my cacao rituals i just got super in tune and now i'm working towards greater abundance manifesting and self-love and um that was a long explanation but that was my journey and it's an ongoing journey and i'm very happy with it and that's how i got into it so where do you start now it's about you i'm sorry that i just talked for so long where do you start it really depends on who you are as a person that like what you're going to take from this video because you might hear some things and be like that's some bullshit i'm not doing that but um it will help so i'm going to tell you steps to take to get in tune spiritually okay the first thing you need to do is you need to read the secret okay if you hate reading there's a movie there is there is there is i think you should read the book if you don't like reading, there's audiobooks. Um, yeah, just like learn the information that is given through the secret. That will open your mind. It will. I promise you, it will open your mind. Once you read the secret, there are some other books that I do suggest, such as The Power of Now, You Are a Badass, The Four Agreements, The Fifth Agreement, and The Alchemist. Five books. Read those books if you can, or at least look them up and see a summary. But I'm telling you, like, if there's two more that you should read, it is The Four Agreements and You Are Badass, because those are very beginner-friendly books, especially You Are Badass, because You Are Badass is a collection of all the spiritual books that you should read, put into one, dumbed down for people who are just starting their journey. So if there's one book you're gonna read after The Secret, You Are Badass by Jen Sincero, Sincero or something. It's good, it's a really good, easy book. Once you do that, my next suggestion would be to go to a spiritual shop and see what resonates with you in that shop. You can just be curious. You don't need to go and get Tiger's Eye because it's gonna do this for you or get Black Tourmaline because it's gonna do this. Like, Go to the spiritual shop and see what resonates with you. Is it sage that resonates with you? Is it incense? Is it pyramid cones? Is it tarot cards? Is it crystals? Is it angel figurines? Just go and see what resonates with you. Buy it. Buy it and then look it up. Figure out what it means or ask the employee. So what you can do is like what I did. I got my little necklaces. I didn't really know what they did. I wore them and they worked and I was so intrigued. I did more research. And the more you find out about things that you're drawn to, the more you're going to want to learn more. So Let's say you go pick up a singing bowl and you learn how to play it and then you learn like, oh, I can charge crystals in this bowl. Then maybe on your next trip, you'll go buy crystals. Start somewhere, like with something light that you just want to know about, figure that out. Another thing that I would do through this whole journey is to actually write down your thoughts and feelings and everything about what's going on in your brain in a journal. Once a day, twice a day, morning or night. I think that it's always nice to do it at night, but lately I've been doing it in the morning. I don't look at my phone when I wake up and I just go straight to my journal or I meditate and then I journal. Um, just write down what you're feeling, what you went through, what you're grateful for, what you're learning about yourself, what you wanna learn about yourself, what you wanna fix, what you wanna improve, all those things, and you're gonna see your progress over time. This will help you become self-aware. When you start journaling weekly, maybe every month, you can like skim through the journaling and see what's going on in your brain from week one to week four of the month. And you're gonna see your progress, you're gonna see all these things about yourself, relive them, and you will get more self-aware through that. Once you make journaling a habit, start incorporating other things into your spiritual routines. Meditation is very important. I want you to understand that meditation is not as scary as it seems. It's literally just shutting your mind up. It's all it is. 
and it might take you a month to finally do it. The first day meditating, you could be in your mind thinking about what should I make for dinner? Oh my God, my boyfriend said this today. Oh my God, like I'm thirsty, I'm itchy, I'm itchy, I'm itchy, I'm itchy. And you're gonna be sitting there like mind running and you're gonna feel like it was pointless. Then you're gonna do it again the next day and you're gonna feel like it was pointless. Day three, maybe you'll get 30 seconds of silence. Day four, maybe you'll get 35 seconds of a silent mind. Day 15, like, woo, you shut your mind up for two minutes. Next thing you know, you're gonna sit in stillness for 10 minutes and eventually you're gonna get into that meditative state of literally being in a trance. Like you're in a trance, your whole body's tingling, your mind is still, you're just being, and it's beautiful. It is so divine. I never use that word, but that shit is divine. Like you sit there and you just feel the energy running through you and you like lose sense of your body and you don't really know where your hands are anymore. Like you kind of forget where your hands are placed because you've been still for so long. It is, it is beautiful. So practice meditating, maybe go from two minutes a day to five to 10 to 15. I do about half an hour of meditating a day minimum. Start small and if you want to keep it small 10 minutes a day, that's more than enough. But this will change your life. It will change your life. So meditate, journal, and start being more mindful of the content you consume. So maybe when you're eating, instead of watching Drama Channel on YouTube, maybe you can watch some Ashley Flores TV. Maybe you can watch some Aaron Doughty, some Leora Alexandra, some Isabella Palacios. You can start watching and consuming mindful content and learning as you're going on your journey. So start learning about the things that these like influencers, YouTubers are talking about and watch it as if it's your favorite show and you're gonna start to learn, like figure out the importance of an ego and letting that go. Figure out more about manifesting and energy and your archangels and just keep seeing what you're interested in and keep watching different videos on these things. You're gonna find that your life will start to dramatically change as you get more invested with all these things. Start watching tarot videos on your zodiac sign. They'll start giving you spiritual advice that you never really thought of. They'll start using terms that you wanna look up. Look those things up, just be curious. The whole point of figuring out your spirituality and going through this journey is curiosity, really. Don't just think that you need to learn what this is because she's talking about it and I wanna know what she's talking about. No, like, what draws you? What are you curious about? Learn that and the more you know, the more you're gonna find out and you're gonna want to be curious about more things and you're gonna just continue to deepen your journey and it will all happen naturally as it's supposed to happen. So give it a try. But with that being said, I do want to continue to make spiritual content, so let me know what spiritual topics you want me to make a video on. I'm telling you to go watch Lior and Aaron Doughty, but I myself could have all the resources for you guys if you just tell me what you want to hear. So if you want to hear about the ego, about crystals, about law of attraction, about blah, 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 let me know and I'll make a video on it so that you guys can have some dumbed down, simplified videos on very deep spiritual topics. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. I'm sorry if my spiritual journey explanation was too long for you, um, but it was just summed up as much as I could do it. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.